Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hockey Talkie. My name is Clay. Thank you for tuning in. Hockey is back, folks, or at least it will be. January 13th is the date. Mark it on your calendars. It is official now, less than a month away, and hockey will be back in our lives. Finally, it's been such a weird year, a uh, weird offseason, just, just crazy. But something to look forward to now. Now, the season's going to look and feel a little bit different this year for obvious reasons. Number one, it's going to be a shortened season because, well, we're starting in January instead of October. They're going to shoot for 56 games. Uh, we'll see if they get through all of those. Uh, we're hopeful that they will, but who knows what happens as the season progresses. I think at the very least, we're going to see some games uh, kind of get moved around as, you know, some tests come back positive. It's just kind of, it's going to happen. Um, but I, I think there's still a good chance that they'll get through all the games, but uh, they're going to have to be flexible for sure. And just as a side note, if you remember the lockout seasons of yesteryear where uh, the season started in January, those seasons were 48 games long. And those seasons with the playoffs included ended in mid to late June. This season we're adding eight more games to make it a 56 game schedule. That would be quite the crunch to get all those games in and um, try to also account for possible, you know, flexibility of reschedules and everything with, with the whole pandemic we're dealing with. That would be quite the ask. But thankfully, uh, this season is going to be a little bit, um, a little bit stretched out in terms of what we're used to. Usually, we're seeing, you know, the Stanley Cup in normal years. Obviously, not this past year, but in normal years, we usually see the Stanley Cup awarded uh, sometime early, mid June. Uh, with the lockout seasons, it was mid to late June. This season, we're going to see the Stanley Cup being awarded, hopefully, uh, in mid-July-ish. Uh, just in time for the Summer Olympics. I, I don't want to, you know, I'm going to knock on wood here. <laughs> I don't want to jinx anything, but uh, that's what we're looking at. So, that, so it's not going to be that bad of a crunch to get all these games in, but there's still going to be a lot of hockey played during that time frame. So definitely a lot to look forward to in that. How all those games are going to be played is also going to look a little bit different this year. Now, we don't have a straight-up exact schedule yet, but we do know, in general, how it's going to be structured, and it's all going to be based on divisions. It's going to be an interdivision schedule, all 56 games within your division. Now, we still have four divisions, but the teams are all mixed up. Due to the Canadian and U.S. border still being closed at this moment, we're going to have a straight-up Canadian division, the North Division, all seven Canadian teams are just straight up going to be playing each other. That is going to be an insanely fun division to watch, especially as a neutral fan. Oh, that is that is going to be glorious. And then in the U.S., with the remaining 24 teams, we have three divisions, the West, the Central, and the East, eight teams in each division. Now, the Blackhawks, they're still going to be in the Central Division, but the Central Division is going to look a little bit different. The Central Division is going to be made up of Carolina, Chicago, Columbus, Dallas, Detroit, Florida, Nashville, and Tampa Bay. Uh, you can see the other divisions and their makeup on the screen as well. Uh, you'll notice that Colorado, Minnesota, and St. Louis are out in the West. They're no longer in the Central for this year, which means we will not be playing any of those teams in the regular season at least. So no St. Louis rivalry, which is fine with me because we get the Detroit rivalry back, which is the better rivalry anyway. And because it's a 56 game schedule, that means we get to play them and every other team in our division eight times, eight meaningful games against Detroit. Oh, I'm so excited. Now there are still details that need to be figured out yet, uh, most specifically what's gonna happen up in Canada with British Columbia. They're not too keen on having the Canucks play in that province right now. So whether or not the NHL has to move the Canucks out of that province to say like Alberta or something for the season remains to be seen. That piece of the puzzle is not quite figured out yet, but we know for sure the season's going to start January 13th. It's going to be 56 games, hopefully, and training camps are going to start January 3rd. And yeah, that's pretty exciting. So I'm going to have a lot of videos to make between now and then, uh, so keep your eyes peeled for those. Best way to do that is make sure you're subscribed to this channel. But for now, I'd love to hear what your guys' thoughts. Let me know how excited you are down in the comment section below for hockey to be back less than a month from now. 
Thanks so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate that as always. But most importantly, stay safe. Make good decisions. Oh, man. I'll see you next time. Soon.